hello everyone so today we would be seeing the option of section for resultant forces so this option is useful when we need to combine the uh, results of beams and plate elements simultaneously so this uh, function is extremely useful for curved and skewed girder bridges which requires uh, plate modeling uh, when the decks are modeled as plate so we need to combine the results of the plate and the beams simultaneously so let's look at how we can perform the section for resultant forces we'll just go to properties here so you can see that uh, this is a simple girder bridge so you can see the hidden view so the girder is a beam element and the deck is modeled as a plate element we can look at here the elements the beam is the girder and the plate one is the deck so we have the option of section for resultant forces under the properties menu we'll go to section for resultant forces so we'll delete the existing ones okay so there are basically three modes of selection we'll go to uh, each mode one by one first we'll go on to the element select method so we'll just click on the number of divisions here we can see that the number of divisions are seven so we can just uh, write seven here we'll define a direction vector which would be uh, along the x-axis which is one comma zero comma zero and we'll name it as let's say a and we'll select the elements which we require here i've selected the elements and i'll click on add so you can see that uh, these uh, i and j ends of a particular beam are all automatically created this is the definition of virtual beams so we can see that this is the first virtual beam this is the second one and similarly this is the seventh seventh virtual beam right we'll just analyze this particular model here and we'll go to results forces resultant force diagram and we'll just click on the values and click on apply so we can see the bending moment is coming out to be 544 kilonewton meter for the self weight only now we'll move on to the second selection option we'll go to properties section for resultant forces we'll delete the existing ones and we'll go to structural group right so i have already defined a structural group named sd sg so under the groups we can see this sg this is these all are the elements so we'll go to structural group number of divisions would be seven and we'll keep the direction vector as x-axis only and this is the group i'll just click on add here so in the similar fashion uh, all the virtual beams are created i'll click on analyze we'll go to results forces resultant force diagram similarly we can see that the same value is coming 544 kilonewton meter so similarly we would be going for the third option now which is the polygon select method i'll delete this again and i'll go to polygon select so polygon select is actually quite useful when you know uh, in case of an irregular structure so when it is curved or skewed so this is a manual way of selection so let's look at how we can uh, select this so basically we'll just click on these three points so basically all the elements which are intersecting this line will get selected right and direction vector would be 1 comma 0 comma 0 right i'll just name it as a here and i'll click on add so this is the i end which is created now we'll define the j end here so we can see that these both sides of the elements are selected again we'll define the direction vector is 1 comma 0 comma 0 i'll name it as b click on add and similarly for the third one i'll name it as 1 comma 0 comma 0 and name it as c add so i would be doing it in the same fashion for all the seven beams name it as d so this is the manual way of doing things when structure is uh, irregular so in that case this polygon option comes in quite handy
so we need to manually define each and every parameter here so we have defined every uh, uh, end of the virtual beams now we'll define what end corresponds to which particular element id so we can see these are the element ids which are defined here uh, so we'll just give the ids to this particular virtual beam so you can see so this is the first one this is the second one the third one fourth fifth sixth and the last one seventh so now we would be analyzing it and we would be looking at the results again the resultant force diagram and we can see that uh, the value is uh, matching for all the three methods so as i mentioned the polygon method is useful in case of irregular structures so when it is curved or skewed generally we use the polygon method but in case of uh, regular structures element method and uh, structural group method uh, comes in quite handy because it automatically generates the virtual beams so that's all for today thank you